Hi guys, welcome again to another video. In this video, we are talking about the web application extensions for the UML. The web application extensions uh, for the UML uh, or to UML enables us to represent web pages and other architecturally significant elements in the internal design model of the web presentation. Web pages should be modeled as first class elements in the internal design model and represented alongside the classes and components that make up the rest of the web representation layer. However, the default building blocks of UML are not sufficient to express the necessary of so elements of web pages as objects. Web pages may have uh, scripts to be executed on the server, which interact with server side resources before being sent to the browser as a completed web page. Uh, the web pages may have scripts that are executed on the webs or the browsers as well, and when processed by the server, the web page does one thing. Uh, when processed by the browser, it does a completely different thing. And that's the reason because we sometimes need to represent that web application uh, in the UML with an extension in this case. In general, any extension to the UML is expressed in terms of stereotypes and target values and or constraints. Combined, these mechanisms extend the notation of UML, enabling creating new types of building blocks to be used in the model. The stereotype is an extension to the vocabulary of the language that allows to attach a new semantic meaning to a UML model element example class and association etc the taget value is the definition of the new property that can be associated with a model element you uh, UML classes for instance have names visibility persistence and other properties associated with them that are related with this taget value. The constraint specifies the conditions under which the model can be considered well formed. The, uh, the web uh, the web application extensions has the class stereotypes and association stereotypes. In the class stereotypes, we consider server pages, clean page, form, frame set, target, script library. And in the other hand, in association stereotypes, we consider the link, build, submit, redirect, forward, object, include, and script. And for the UML extension, we need to consider the three main parts. The first one is the server page. A server page represents a dynamic web page that contains content uh, assembled on the server each time it is requested. Later, it can be implemented as a servlet, ESP, ACP, or PHP page. The constraints server page can have only normal relationships with objects on the server. And the, for the taget values or, or its server page hasn't a taget values. In the other hand, the client page, a client page instance is an HTML format web page with a mix of data 
presentation and event logic. We have in constraints in this site, but in the target values, we have the title tag, the base tag and body tag. The title tag is the title of the page has displayed by the browsers. The base tag is the base URL for the, the, the referring thing relative URLs. The body tag is the set of attributes for, for the body tag, which sets uh, background and default text attributes. And we have the third one, the HTML form. It's a form instance represents a HTML form in a client page. It having constraints, but it have a target values either get or posts the method used to submit data to the action url and that's it guys this is a little introduction to understand what or how we need to know about the web application extension for the uml or to know how to represent in the uml modeling the part considered by the web application extension in this case. Thank you guys for listening to this video and remember probably GT4.